Ever wondered how fire ants build their iconic mounds? Fire ants, scientifically known as Solenopsis invicta, are renowned for their intricate and often impressive mound building behavior. These mounds serve as nests for their colonies, providing protection, shelter, and a conducive environment for rearing their brood and storing food. The process of building these mounds involves a combination of instinctual behavior, coordinated efforts among colony members, and environmental factors. Stick around as we delve into the fascinating world of fire ant construction. Step 1. Fire ants typically select a suitable site for mound construction. They prefer locations with well-drained soil, ample sunlight, and proximity to food sources. The queen ant, who plays a vital role in colony decisions, often guides the selection process. Once a suitable location is found, the ants begin preparing the site for construction. Step 2. The initial step in mound building involves excavating the soil. Worker ants, which constitute the majority of the colony, use their mandibles and legs to dig into the ground, creating tunnels and chambers. They remove soil and debris from the excavation site, carrying it away from the mound to prevent collapse and maintain the structural integrity of the nest. Step 3. As the excavation progresses, worker ants transport materials such as soil, sand, and plant matter to the mound's exterior. They carry these materials using their mandibles and legs, forming a continuous stream of traffic between the excavation site and the mound's surface. This process requires coordination and communication among colony members to ensure efficient material transport. Step 4. Within the mound, fire ants construct a network of chambers and tunnels to accommodate various colony activities. These chambers serve different purposes, including housing the queen, brood, and food storage. Worker ants use their bodies to mold and shape the chambers, utilizing the materials brought from the excavation site. The chambers are interconnected through a series of tunnels, providing access to different areas of the nest. Step 5. As the colony grows in size and population, the mound undergoes expansion to accommodate the increasing number of ants. Worker ants continually excavate and construct new chambers and tunnels to meet the colony's needs. The mound's shape and size may vary depending on factors, such as colony size, environmental conditions, and available resources. Step 6. Defense Mechanisms Fire ant mounds also serve as defensive fortresses against potential threats. The design and structure of the mound help deter predators and regulate access to the nest. Additionally, fire ants aggressively defend their colony against intruders, utilizing their venomous stings and coordinated attacks to protect the queen and brood. And there you have it, the remarkable process of fire ant mound building. Nature truly is incredible. Overall, the process of fire ant mound building is a remarkable display of collective behavior and adaptation to environmental conditions. Through coordinated efforts and instinctual behaviors, fire ants create intricate structures that serve as vital hubs for colony survival and reproduction. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Until next time take care and goodbye.